Okay, today we're going to look at magnetism, uh, the properties of magnets, ferrous and non-ferrous materials, the difference between steel and iron, uh, induced magnetism, magnetization and demagnetization, and a few other things. Properties of magnets. All magnets have a magnetic field around them, and the magnetic field goes from the north to the south. Now, the rules with uh, magnets are that like poles repel, so this is called the, the south pole, and here we've got the north pole. So, like poles repel, so if you had two magnets, and if you had a, uh, a north and a north, uh, they would repel. Likewise, exactly the same thing would happen with a south and a south. But opposite poles attract. So if you had a north and a south that come towards each other. Now, induced magnetism occurs when a metal such as iron uh, is placed near the magnetic field of a magnet and there's a magnetic field temporarily set up inside the iron. So, uh, the magnetic field, the north pole is close to this uh, paper clip here. So, temporarily there is a south pole set up here. Now because there's a south pole, a north pole will form here. And if you get a second paper clip, a south pole will form here and a north will form here. And then the, the paper clips will be attracted towards the magnet. So when a material is placed near a magnet, magnetism can be induced in the material. And as soon as you take the material away from the magnet, that magnetism, uh, that magnetic effect uh, is stopped, it, it, it goes. So what's the difference between ferrous and non-ferrous materials? Well, ferrous metals contain iron, and an example uh, is steel. Non-ferrous metals don't contain any iron. Okay, methods of magnetization. Well, I've got two diagrams here of how you can magnetize a piece of uh, ferrous metal. One method is you get an, a magnet and you just rub uh, just one half of the magnet going round and round like this and eventually you'll create magnetism inside your metal. Or you can get your uh, piece of metal uh, that you want to be magnetized and you can place it into something called a solenoid which is just a coil of wire. You run DC electricity through there and then slowly draw it out and then it should retain its magnetism. Okay, methods of demagnetization. Well, here I've got three different methods that you can demagnetize a magnet. You can give it a really good whack with a hammer. Uh, you can put it in a solenoid again, but this time you have AC electricity running through it. Or if you get it very, very hot, that will actually demagnetize the magnet as well. Okay, there are two different experiments that you can do to reveal the field lines around a magnet. One of those experiments is to place a compass around the magnet, and if you draw where the um, compass is pointing to, it will kind of reveal the magnetic field. You can see that it's the, they kind of tend to go around like this. Uh, or you can get a piece of paper and place your magnet underneath, and then sprinkle iron filings over the top of the paper and the magnetic field is revealed as the iron filings line up in the magnetic field. Now the magnetic properties of steel and iron are slightly different. Steel uh, is a hard magnetic material.
Okay, what does that mean? It's difficult to magnetize. But once it is magnetized, it's difficult to demagnetize. Whereas iron is a soft magnetic material. It's easy to magnetize. And easy to demagnetize. Electromagnets. So what is an electromagnet? Well, electromagnets, they've normally got an uh, iron core and a coil of wire wrapped around. And you pass electricity, uh, electric current, through here and you form a magnetic field uh, out of here. Like so. Now, electromagnets, they're, they're more useful than and regular magnets because you can turn them on and off by here. If you, if you stop the current from flowing, the magnetism around the coil uh, stops. So the, the benefits of an electromagnet, uh, the magnetism can be turned on and off. Now, how can you make an electromagnet stronger? Uh, you can have, uh, you need an iron core. So if you didn't have one already, you can put one in. Uh, you can increase the current. Or you can increase the number of t turns on the coil.